Hey guys, and I hope you guys are doing okay today. Today I'll be rating the new Shrine of Secrets of Wednesday, the 6th of January 2021. Now obviously we have kicked fresh into the year already, the new year, so happy new year, six days later. Um, honestly, yeah, it's been crazy. Uh, we've been doing this series for uh, over five months now, I believe, I could be wrong. But either way, yeah, uh, if you don't know what I do in this series, each week I go over the new Shrine of Secrets, I go over the perks and rate them out of 10 with all of, uh, all the ratings being my opinion completely remember and at the end of the video I recommend one perk you guys should buy off the shrine from my personal experience of the game so yeah before I get into it if you could drop a like and subscribe I really appreciate it obviously and yeah let's jump right into the shrine so the first perk is called Beast of Prey this is the Huntress's teachable perk so what this perk does grants the undetectable status effect after gaining bloodlust tier 1 and obviously the status effect is removed once you lose bloodlust so you guys should know what undetectable is if you don't know what it is uh, you have no terror radius and you have no red stain as killer obviously and this happens when you get uh, bloodless tier 1 in a chase and on top of that you gain at level 1 30% at level 2 40% and at level 3 50% more blood points for the actions in the hunter category which I think is finding survivors I believe I could be wrong, but yeah. Anyways, would I rate this perk out of ten? Probably a three or two point five. Like I have to rate it low. Like if you play, if you play at a high level or any level, I guess it is shit. First of all, it's gimmicky. Like there's obviously other gimmicky perks, but this is gimmicky in a way that it won't help you either like, at all, no matter what. Like. I guess you're really going to get used out of this if you're using that legion build where the men timer goes down really quick but either way it's still just wasting a slot perk to do a Mimi build and it, that's the only use you're probably going to get out of it just to get someone down uh, when you're legion and you don't have to even hit them down they just go down by the men timer going down because of this perk but I don't know if it still works with this perk I, I think they patched it could be wrong but either way it's shit and obviously that's the, the first rain of the year of the, the perk and I fucking put it at free. But yeah, the perk shit, it's, it's, it needs some buff, it just it just needs something. Uh, let's move on to the second perk. So the second perk is called Buckle Up. This is Ash's teachable perk. So what this perk does, the recovery progress of dying survivors, obviously survivors on the floor, can be determined by the uh, intensity of their auras at a distance of, uh, of up to 48 meters. When you heal a survivor dying from the dying state to injured state, both the healed survivor and yourself see the killer's aura for a duration of at level 1, 4 seconds, at level 2, 5 seconds, and at level 3, 6 seconds. So what I rate this perk out of 10? Yeah, we're going to give it a 3 as well. <laughs> like, I don't know how I'm going to rate these fucking perks high. This is shit. Obviously, you start to see the auras more uh, when they're more recovered in a white aura just so you get information where you know they're basically recovered if you're playing solo survivor but like still like it, it doesn't make any sense like this perk be better if it negates perks like uh fucking third seal you know uh, what's that boba perk uh knockout you, just just perks and add-ons for killers that make you uh give you the blindness stats effect then this perk would be better but it's just shit that's all I really got to say, like, just take that as fucking brutal advice. If you're new to this game or learning the perks, yeah, don't fucking use this perk or even go anywhere near buying it. Unless you're just trying to get every teacher in the game, that's understandable. But yeah, let's move on to the third perk.
But yeah, this perk's actually good. Um, although it's very gimmicky, this and head on and uh, that new perk, Deception, really fucking solid. I don't really fall for this perk on Killer. Sometimes I may do every now and then, but it's still solid. And I always use this perk for challenges and just to meme around if I want to have a fucking round game. I just use this perk with my friends because that's the best thing. I recommend using this perk against the lower rank killers. <laughs> no offense. And um, with your friends mainly because running it solo is, is, is just stupid in my opinion. But yeah, let's move on to the fourth and final perk. tactics becomes uh gets a cooldown basically for a level 1 40 seconds a level 2 35 seconds and a level 3 30 seconds so what i rate this perk out of 10 yeah uh, a 1 or uh, maybe a 1.5 actually we'll put it at 2 that's too deep okay a 2 uh i put it at 2 because yeah are uh, you only gonna use this perk i recommend only using this perk if you're trying to learn all the tiles this killer but I don't know, I think uh, the Kate's one, Windows Opportunity was on the Shrine last week and now they're putting Sanction Tactics, they're basically the same thing, just this one's for Killer and the other one's for Survivor and I don't know why they have a cooldown, I actually made a discussion video on this uh, and the cooldown makes no sense, for fuck's sake, yeah, the, the cooldown's stupid in my opinion at least, it just makes no sense. I don't know why you have a cooldown when you're most likely going to use this perk when you're trying to learn tiles. And even if you always use this perk, like devs, make this perk for people who are actually new at learning tiles, you know? It's just stupid. Now, obviously, I know all the tiles, so I don't use this fucking perk. Uh, shit, uh, if you already know all the tiles, then just why use it? Anyways, uh, yeah, let's move on to the final thing of today's video, which is one perk I recommend you guys buy off this run. So, the one perk. I recommend you guys buy the shrine Wednesday the 6th of January 2021 is obviously head on like, how can I not pick head on uh, yeah I know it's gimmicky but it's gonna work a lot like trust me it ain't as shit as I made it sound I guess it's, it's actually decent especially when it's exhaustion it's probably one of the best exhaustions in the game yeah you don't get a big distance but this perk could uh, have really good combos like deception quick and quiet um, dance with me you know perks like that uh but yeah anyways that's just my opinion uh you know, just buy this perk why not and if you already own head on then if you're trying to learn tiles and buy sanction tactics and just i guess if you already own sanction tactics and head on just buy beast of prey but fuck up uh, yeah i don't know uh let me know in the comment section below what do you guys rate this whole shrine and the perks out of 10 I rate this whole shrine probably a 3 out of 10 and it's a shame because obviously it's the first shrine of the year and they've only put head on on there they, they could put DS or something like that but anyways yeah I'll see you guys next week on the next shrine peace